A feature in Wireshark that is not well known is uh, the import from Hexdump uh, feature. You can find it in the file menu here, import from Hexdump. And uh, Wireshark uh, will then import uh, an Hexdump like this one. So I have uh, an Hexdump here. Here with the index and then uh, the bytes. And uh, so this is the Ethernet uh, packet uh, frame part. So the destination MAC address, the source MAC address, and then here 0800 to indicate that the payload of uh, the Ethernet frame is an uh, IPv4 packet. And here 45, that's the start of the IPv4 header. So that is something you can uh, import in Wireshark and then Wireshark will di dissect this for you. Import from Hexdump. You browse to the folder and we import the Hexdump like this and then click OK. And then here you have the, the breakdown. And now you can see that uh, this indeed is okay an ipv4 which is a udp uh, packet and which contains a, a dns query so sometimes you, you get uh, data uh, like that hex uh, information like that and then you can analyze that with wireshark but it's not always uh, easy to transform it in in the format that uh, wireshark will accept so to help you with that, I've written a 101 editor um, script. So let's quit this and uh, install this uh, editor. This editor here I'm running under Windows, but it also exists for uh, Mac and for Linux. Okay, this is uh, the installation. And now we are going to define our uh, script, so the script that I wrote to create those uh, hex dumps for Wireshark. And you go in Edit Script List, New. Here you click on the File Name Folder button. And in the folder Wireshark hex export here, you select the script like this. And now the script will appear in the list and you can run it by clicking here. So let's open a binary file here. Uh, so let's uh, work with this file here, assuming that this is a memory dump. So we open this with a 010 editor. And you can see all zeros and then here uh, some bytes. So <clears throat> this is actually a packet that we want to analyze with Wireshark. So you select all the data like this. And then you run the script Wireshark export. And this will create a new text file with the bytes that you selected dumped in hex format and also with a command that indicates from where you got uh, that uh, dump. So when we, when we save this, so export one.txt Now we can launch Wireshark. and import this hex dump. So export one txt. Okay. And we import the packet. So this uh, 010 editor script allows you to quickly create the necessary uh, dumps for Wireshark. <clears throat> now here I selected bytes but uh, it also recognizes uh, hexadecimal uh, data. And this is uh, quite handy 
when, uh, for example, you want to analyze some uh, proof of concept code. So let's close this. And let's take a look here as, uh, at sslTest.py. This is uh, the Python program that uh, was uh, distributed as a proof of concept for CVE 2014-0160, or uh, the Heartbleed vulnerability. And if you look into that Python program, you can see two sets of um, hex data, this one here and this one here. And if you search for hello, here, you can see that hello, this packet will be transmitted via a socket that is uh, the internet protocol and TCP. Hmm? So this is actually data that is sent through a TCP um, pipe. And uh, we know here that it is for uh, SSL. So it will be connecting by default to a uh, port 443. So let's analyze this. You select in this text file, you select the hex dump and you run the script, Wireshark export. Now Wireshark export recognizes that the data that you selected is uh, hexadecimal content. And it asks you if you want to convert it to bytes. So yes, that is what we want to do. And then here we have our dump with the command from which file it comes. Now, such a dump can contain more than one packet. And uh, my script also supports that. So let's select the second set of hex data and run the script again. Wireshark export. Yes, we want to convert to bytes. And now you can see that a second entry was created in the same file here for that packet data. So let's save this. I will call this export2.txt. And now we can import this in Wireshark. File, import from Hexdump. So export2.txt, like this. Now, what we are importing here is not an Ethernet frame. Hmm? It is TCP data. So we need to create dummy header. And the dummy header that we have to create is all the way up to TCP. And when you select TCP, you have to provide a source port and a destination port because that information is not present in, uh, in the data that we exported. So I'm going to say 52,000 and destination port 443 uh, for uh, TLS. Okay, and now you can see that two packets were imported to uh, uh, SSL connection, uh, SSL uh, data packets. So if we look in the first one here, SSL, you can see that this is actually a, a client hello. So the start of uh, the configuration of the setup of the SSL TLS connection uh, with uh, all the suits uh, that are uh, supported. So this is actually hard coded in the, in the proof of concept uh, code. And also the version 0.3.0.2, which is TLS 1.1, this is also hard coded. So this means if you run this proof of concept on a server that's do that does not support this uh, version, then uh, it will not work. Now let's look at the second packet. And this second packet is a, a heartbeat uh, request. Here we have our SSL data. First, uh, hexadecimal 18, that is uh, the type heartbeat. Then again, the version 0.3.0.2, so TLS 1.1, and uh, a record length of uh, three bytes. And the three bytes here make up the heartbeat message. And the heartbeat message is a request with a payload length, 16,384 bytes. But then, as you can see, we are at the end of the packet. So 
the payload itself is not included. So this is a malformed packet and this is how the SSL uh, heartbeat vulnerability was exploited. Uh, you sent it a heartbeat message request with a payload like for example uh, this length but you don't give it any data and then you will receive back data. Okay, So my script uh, here Wireshark export allows you to easily convert uh, bytes or hexadecimal data into a format that you can import in Wireshark. Uh, 